Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me. It's October 2nd, and I haven't posted because it's taken several days for my last post to come up. I didn't have internet at all yesterday. But anyway, we're in worship weekend. And again, it seems like I just said that. That's how fast the week has gone again. <laughs> well, the Lord knows all about that. Anyway, I do want to talk about the Proverbs 31 woman. That was how I finished up my uh, reading in September. I want to share the last psalm with you, and then I will be reading Proverbs 31 about the Proverbs 31 woman. Psalm 150. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. <clears throat> Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Glory to his name. Praise the Lord. The Lord will remember his covenant with Israel and America's covenant with him. He is watching over Israel and the land of America. I don't doubt that for a minute. We're going through these perilous times and the earth is shaking and quaking. You know, there's a scripture that says the earth is groaning. And uh, if you've ever been sick at your stomach, you just feel like you're groaning, don't you? And sometimes you have relief when you finally throw up. And uh, I just think of the earth as uh, being so sick of the sin that's been on this earth that it's throwing up. <laughs> Literally, earthquakes, volcanoes. It is just sick because, you know, even everything on the earth was made to praise the Lord. The flowers, I think, smile at him. The grasses and the trees wave their arms in worship of him. And uh, we have just desecrated what the Lord made to provide for us and to give us beauty to enjoy while he's enjoying it. You know, he made these things for his pleasure and uh, how heartsick he is when he looks at the world he made for his pleasure and to share with us for our enjoyment. And we have done so pitifully and horribly here. And, uh, you know, we can repent. And that is what we should do. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. God promised us eternal life when we believe on his son, Jesus Christ, who died for our sins, that we do not have to perish if we will have faith in him and follow his commandments, obeying him, doing as he taught to do. Well, we are in difficult times, and as in my last video I said, you know, I, I tell us again, we are to endure and we need to wait on the Lord to know what he would have us to do. Endure patiently the things that are on this earth now and what we have to go through. And you know, if you're a woman or man of God, you've heard to prepare to get your houses in order and to stay prepared. And I know when uh, Joe Biden was running for president, he made two statements. One of them was, we are fighting for the soul of a nation. And the other one was, it's going to be a dark winter. Well, if we're fighting for the soul of a nation, it's between God and Satan. It's between good and evil. So one side is fighting for good and one side is fighting for evil. And if we are led by the Spirit of God, we're not confused about which side that is. 
You know, just as in the Old Testament, there are prophets of God and there are prophets of Baal. And which, which side are you on? Who do you listen to and follow? Because I'm telling you, one side will lead to heaven and one side will lead to hell. Both sides have ambassadors and prophets. And uh, how sad when the wrong choice is made. The Proverbs 31 woman was not afraid of her winter. She wouldn't be afraid of a dark winter because she prepared. And, you know, we may have authorities tell us to have three days food and water on hand. Like that is preparation and stored up. But uh, that is a not, not enough prep for a dark winter, is it? But the special woman we're about to read about in Proverbs 31, along with, at the first, is instruction for a son to keep himself. And so we have instruction for men and women here that uh, we need to rise up to the holy call of God and we need to spend that time before the Lord hearing his voice and his leadership and uh, we need to be prepared, as this Proverbs 31 woman was. Well, let's read this. It begins with speaking to a son. Chapter 31 of Proverbs, the words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. What, my son, and what the son of my womb, and what the son of my vows? Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink, lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Let him drink and forget his poverty and remember his misery no more. Open thy mouth for the dumb in the cause of all such as are appointed to destruction. Open thy mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. And now we go to the virtuous woman. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. And here's her industry to stay prepared. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant's ships. She bringeth her food from afar. She riseth also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considereth a field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hand she planteth a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength and strengtheneth her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the distaff. She stretcheth out her hand to the poor, yea, she reacheth forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household. For all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. Well, I live in America, and I know many of our women are 
not this person. But we need to repent and become this person because we have children, grandchildren, and a world that needs to see what a godly woman looks like. And uh, we have responsibility to our families. It is not okay to gossip all day on a phone, to sit in front of a TV and do nothing, to be lazy when everything around our world says prepare. A dark time is coming and uh, not just coming. It is here. It is started. We don't want to be irresponsible and uh, we want to have good relationships and be caring and not be selfish through what is going on and uh, we need to repent everyone needs to repent and make sure they are right with the Lord and then we need to be responsible for the days he gives us each day he gives us is a day that we can take care of things prepare, share the gospel, share kindness. You know, when you go and share kindness, you're sharing the Lord with people. We need to just show love. God is love. But we've got to make sure they know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And he has to be called on to be delivered and saved. And I just pray that you are delivered and saved. And I pray that if you need healing in your body today, that the Lord Jesus will touch you right now. And according to your faith, you will be healed. If you believe on the Lord Jesus and you call on him, he will answer. He does not want any to perish. And he is your salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Please make sure that we are ready to go to heaven and that we are ready for winter and uh, don't don't sit on your chair <laughs> today and do nothing do something to prepare because winter comes quickly sometimes and it stays long and uh, I know in Germany the people there the authorities are telling people practice making a campfire uh, have a candle and a flower pot in the house for some heat. Now, I hope you can hear how serious that warning is and to have uh, something to cover the windows. So they are preparing to have blackouts and they are preparing not to have natural gas, which many of them depend on for heat. So would this be what a dark winter is? Yes, a dark winter where it's not like what you've experienced before and uh, it's not just for a day or two but it lasts are you prepared for that are you prepared to not be able to go to the store for some reason and get what you need do you already have plenty in your house that you can take care of your families please be mindful of this you know there's volcanoes in uh, the Canary Island, La Palma, and it's getting worse. Volcano in Hawaii, volcano in Iceland. Uh, there was a 7.0, maybe 7.2 earthquake under the Pacific this morning. And uh, these just are continually happening, and it's affecting everything when it does. When things like this happen... It's affecting other things. We are all going to be affected by the things that are going on throughout the earth. And we've just got to be prepared. I can't stress it enough. Please, please, don't be negligent. If you've been lazy, repent. Ask the Lord to forgive you. And please get it done for your family. Don't, don't leave them high and dry because... You were lazy or in denial. Can't be in denial anymore. The things that are happening in the earth are real. And uh, the Lord may take us up soon. But in the meantime, we want to be prepared physically as well as spiritually. I love you. Jesus loves you more. Be blessed.